Y'all see me doing some pausing and stuff. That's because I can't really see on this road that I'm going down. But to ride. Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness. Let me show y'all. So y'all can see what I'm looking at. It is raining. Okay. So. I have to turn my windshield wipers up <laughs> so anyway I wanted to say I just can y'all still hear me I hope y'all can hear me while I'm talking to y'all because my phone just said it went on you now my daughter's calling how about that so pause please Oh my gosh, when I say I'm caught in a horrible thunderstorm, it is raining like crazy, okay? When I say raining like crazy, it's raining like you. What happened? Something just happened. Honest to goodness, I don't know what happened. But the phone just turned off and turned back on or something. So it's just not one of them situations where you could just say, okay. Look, y'all, I'm going. But it's not one of them situations where you could just say, okay, everything's fine. Everything's good. It's not. It's, it's really just not. So, I'm going to tell you guys, this is a story time, okay? That's what this is going to be. This is a, a story time, okay? Just trying to get on the highway. Hold on. Oh, I gotta have my flashes on, y'all. This is ridiculous. It's, it's storming up a storm out here. It's scary. I scared. I don't like being on the road when it's like this because my glasses, I can't see that fast. And the speed limit is 70, and I'm only going a few four. Look what I'm dealing with. I'm just showing y'all the rain while I'm talking. Okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all this story. It's, I'm going to try to make it slight as I possibly can. But, honey, when I say this has literally changed my life, it literally has changed my life. I mean, okay, so back in 2012, the last day of 2012, my son was murdered in Toledo, Ohio, right? And he was the last murder of the year or next to the last murder of the year, one or the other. I think somebody got killed after him, but I was in, in and out of consciousness myself at that point. So I couldn't really say, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if somebody else passed at that time. I know my son did, that's all I know. So we literally, I'm just, you know, trying to heal, trying to get my mental together, trying to put me 
back together because I literally fell apart when this stuff started happening, when it happened, when my son was murdered. So six months to the day, they found the people and it was three people. One person shot my son in his heart. I mean, through his lungs, through his heart and bam, he was dead instantly. But there was three people that was involved. This was planned. They thought that they could run in and do what they wanted to do. And that was that, right? So I'm literally, so I'm literally, like I said, toe up, toe up, totally toe up. So for these last um, 10 years, because this year it'll be 10 years on this, on the anniversary of New Year's, y'all. So I don't really celebrate New Year's because of all of this. I don't really like celebrating Christmas no more. None of that stuff. When I say this broke me down to broke me down, it literally broke me down to where I have issues now, health issues that I could literally die from. That's how, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say that's how it is. I'll just say that's how it went. You know, like literally my life was almost over. Okay. Like, cause I couldn't breathe. I couldn't focus. I couldn't nothing. All I did was tremble, tremble, trembled and shook, trembled and shook. So I ended up with all these ailments and I know y'all have heard me in other videos talk about the ailments, you know, but all of these ailments has tried to engulf me. But see, I got the Holy Spirit. I, I'm one of God's children. I have the Holy Spirit down within me and God within me. So when I get issues, I go to God. I tell God all about it. He know about it. I tell him about it anyway. And I ask him to bring peace and calm to me. And that happens all the time. When I say he brings peace and calm, he brings the peace, the joy, the calm, the excitement, the everything. God is good all the time. And if you don't know him, I suggest that you do try to get to know him, honey. Because that's, that's where it's at. <laughs> Period. But anyway, I had gotten sick. And I'm still sick. And I'm just trying to get myself in a, a happier mode. Like a happier feeling. A happier... Just get my life back together. Because I was this girl... I was, I'm still in. <laughs> I've always had my own business. I've always created my own businesses. I've always made my own money. I always have something going on in my mind. So right now, even though, you know, I'm sick or whatever and I'm on my way to the doctor, all this stuff, I still have over a hundred and something notebooks, journals, coloring books, all that stuff on Amazon that I've created over this time and I'm still creating them yet today, okay? I ain't stopped my creativity at all and I, I make lip gloss I was doing bracelets but I don't necessarily want to do that too much, so it's just my lip gloss and my notebooks and stuff, that's what I'm focusing on well, anyway, I said all of that to get y'all up to date, right? So, the let me tell you what happened. This is the story of what actually took place now that you know the backstory. So, on Thursday, I had some stuff I had to do with my daughter. And then I came home, um, and that was that. Friday... Why all of a sudden victims of crime called me? And when I say victims of crime, victims of crime is this organization that takes care of the people that has literally been traumatized. Like literally traumatized by murder, by whatever, any type of assault, any of that. They are the awesome advocates they help and I love them, okay? So, whenever something goes on with these three people that had killed my son, because I don't care if you pulled the gun or not, you planted, you was there, you was there. Of these three people, two have gotten out, right? 
they've gotten out because I allowed them to take a plea deal. And they got their butt out of jail. But the boy that killed my son is still locked up. Okay, and he, that's where the heck he gonna stay at. Locky, locky, talky, talky. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. So, literally, y'all, um, victims of crime called me. And when they called, oh my God, and I answered the phone, I was like, oh, it shocked me. It made me so nervous. And I'm still nervous and shaking all over still today. I had to pull out the volumes and all of that stuff because I got nervous by what they, what they said. They said that this young man um, that was a part of the situation is missing. And they don't know where he at. See, I'm going to tell you something. With me, that's a problem. Because if they don't know where you at, that means that I got to now look out for myself and my family. Don't play with me like that no more. Oh, my granddaughter. I'm sorry, y'all. That was my granddaughter calling in. She's probably calling in from school, but I'm on the highway. I had to pause her and let her call her back. But anyway, honey, yes, so... They literally called me and said that he was missing. I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? What is what 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 does that mean? What do you want me to do? So let me tell you, my patience has gotten so short now that all this stuff has happened. I ain't got time for the who, what, when, where, why. What, 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 what you doing? What the heck is going on? I just need you to put it to the point, and make it straight, okay? Make it straight so I can understand what you're saying to me. So she said he missing. They don't know where he at. They don't know where he went. They can't find him. He showed up to no, uh, no uh, check-ins. So therefore, he's broke. He has broken his agreement because they can't find him. And he had to stay in touch for five years after. That was the agreement. And he only been out for a year. And that was the agreement. The agreement was five years in, five years out. You still get 10 years, period. I've been dealing with it. I've been dealing with it. I've been dealing with some bull all these years. All these years I've been dealing with this bull crap. And yet he get, I mean, they, they got to follow the rules. And if they don't follow, guess what happens? Now you got to go back in for five years. And, and I don't care about nobody's little bitty feelings because nobody gave up about my feelings and what my family was going to go through. Okay? Now, let's put that out there. Because if you don't know, now you should know. You know, now you should know. Because the bull is the bull. And I ain't got time to keep going through the bull. Okay? Period. 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 And I don't care one way or the other. I really don't. I, I really, really, really. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't really give a hoot nanny. Okay? Let's be honest. I don't give a flying frackadacka. Okay? Period. Point blank dot com. Because if I was supposed to care and I was supposed to feel some kind of way because this man is out, then I would feel the way because this man was out. But I don't feel anything. All I feel is too bad and too sad. Because baby, when I say I ain't stopping and I ain't giving up, you better believe it. You better believe it. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I could I could I could be very honest. <clears throat> I'm not gonna give a hoot nanny if they find them or if they don't. All I'm gonna say is, baby, uh karma is a mother, ain't it? Karma will whoop that butt. Karma will whoop that butt. 
That's why you don't go around doing stuff to people and people ain't did nothing to you. My thing is, ain't nobody did nothing to you, and you shouldn't be doing nothing to nobody. How about that? And um, if they can't find you, I'm going to tell you something. See, I have a whole lot of, um, I have a whole lot. And when I say a whole lot, I mean a whole lot. I literally have a whole lot of girls. <laughs> Don't play with me. If you don't play with me, then you won't have to worry about seeing none of those little guns. And if you come anywhere near me, you're getting some little hot bullets. My little friends like to follow me everywhere. And since it's a concealed, you don't you, you don't have to conceal your carry. Mm -mm. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about that. And uh, where the boy at? I don't know. Do I care? Hell no. No, I don't. Um, do I feel like, um, do I feel like things will change and things will be different? No, not really. And I don't even really care. How about that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. But, when victims of crime called me, it really startled me. And I literally was like, are you kidding me? What? So then it made me stressed and, and, and nerves get all bad. Because now I feel like I got to look over my shoulder. I had to look over my shoulder. I don't look over my shoulder for what? What am I, what, what, what am I looking over my shoulders for? I'm going to tell you what. If I gotta be looking over my shoulders, it's gotta be a gotta be a problem. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Yes, it is. And it's a problem because you think you can play with me like that. You can. Mm-mm. Where they do that at? Right? Where they do that at? That's just ridiculousness. And I know the camera probably gonna be all over the place, y'all. This man getting out the car and him got an oxygen machine. It makes me sad for him. Y'all want to see him? Let me show y'all. Some confidentiality, but I am sitting in front of a hospital. That's not him. That's a lady walking with her umbrella. He about to walk in a minute. Oh no, he got back in the car. No, he getting down. He right next to me. He come. Oh, he went the other way. Does he even want to be on video? Nope, there he go. And he carrying his bag, y'all. Hmm. That's the oxygen bag. That makes me so sad. And I hope I don't end up nowhere near like that. I rebuke it with the blood of Jesus. I'm going to give that to God. Lord Jesus, take care of him, please. I ask all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. It's that cherry. You know, I love my lip gloss, y'all. Um, and I just don't understand why y'all not loving it as much as I am. Because if you loved it as much as I would, you would be over there buying you some lip gloss. But... This is my um, Cherry 20 ml tube. This one is about, I want to say $8. I think I changed my prices, and I'm going to say this one is $8. Yes, I finally did do my little ragtag nails. I know. I don't have, I can't have nails all long and over the top tip of my finger bed because I don't like it. I don't like the way it feel. Like, and when I say over my finger bed, I'm talking about like this. Let me see if I can find stuff. Let me just sit this up here. Tell me about this. Like the I don't like the nails to come over the tip of my fingers. So I like the little bitty cute nails that's you know my original nails, and I just polish them. 
but I'm trying to find a better polish because some of the polish I got is real cheap. Real cheap, y'all. And it just, come on. But anyway, my appointment is not until 11.30. But I got my little stuff here early because of all that rain. And y'all, the rain has slowed down now that I'm here. And I drove from where I live all the way to Lima, Ohio. Lima, Lima, whatever you want. Right. <laughs> yeah. Some black folks. I don't know where they're going. But I drove from Pandora to Lima. I mean, that's approximately about 30 some miles. Yeah. Probably about 30 miles where I came from. Um, And I'm at the Lima Memorial Hospital. And I'm at the cardiac, the cardiac center. And that's what we're doing. We're going to go in the office. We're going to go in the office. And we're going to sign in. And we're going to go from there. Okay, guys? All right. Pause, please. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm about to get out the car. Mm. Oh. Okay, I had to put on my sweater because I literally, wait a minute, let me see. Did I lock my door? I think I did. Yeah, it's locked. Ooh, but I put on my long sweater because it's got a little hood on it. And I don't want I don't want nobody to, uh, I don't want to be cold in this office, and I don't want to, um, have to deal with nothing that I shouldn't. So I'm walking in. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. We are here, and it is happening, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. <laughs> it just came to him in the dream. Hi. Is that up? You guys pressed up? Yeah. Oh. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Yeah, it's in you. <laughs> uh, I used to go to that part. That was the bang place. Excuse me. Do you know what his name is? Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Three, please. Three. <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering where I am. <laughs> I wasn't planning on a train. Here we go. Mm hmm All ready to Good go. Good luck with everything. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, thank you. Okay, guys, we're back on. On and off, on and off. We're about to leave the hospital. Hi. And we're going to be leaving to go out the door, out the doctor's office. So we're going home, okay? Home, home, home. Uh-oh. Okay. Later. 
So I'm in the elevator by myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just like that, we're down on floor one. Have a blessed day. Thank you. You too. You too. <laughs> it is literally hot out here, okay? Hot, 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 hot. Oh, Jesus. I didn't need that sweater after all, y'all. I thought I did. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't need it. Oh, look at little mama right there. Ain't that pretty? Look at little mama. That's my take a bite. That's my take a bite right there. Look how cute her is. Hi, boogie doogie. Hi, boogie doogie. Oh, y'all. I got pillows in my car. And everything else that's supposed to be on the floor ain't on the floor. And, oh. See what's happening here. Um, um, okay. Let's get in the car. Okay, so my um disappointment went really, really, really well. Ex except y'all, my um my cholesterol is up, 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 up. Which is crazy because I don't know why it's up. I really don't. I don't I don't know what happened. Well yeah I do. You know what? I'm playing games with myself because I know what's going on. I literally ain't been taking my medicine the right way. That's what it is. I don't know why I'm sitting here making excuses and going through the process. But see that's what happened when anxiety creeps in. And, and all of that and my anxiety is extremely high and I got all kind of medicine to take just you know for it or whatever but it's just the fact that I just literally ain't been taking it the right way so now I got high cholesterol so now I gotta take um, more medicine than what I was taking to get it back down and I got to have my labs drawn tomorrow again, which I just had my labs drawn last week for my thyroid. Now I got to have my labs drawn for my cholesterol because they did not get the cholesterol. They only did the um, TSH, which is the thyroid stimulating hormone. So my HDL is fine, but my LDL is bad. I think that's how they put it. So I got to do that lab tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Okay. And we're going to continue this vlogging. Um, next step is, I think, Sam's Club. Or the bank. I'm not sure which one. I'm going to go figure it out. But y'all going to go with me. Guys, now we are at Sam's Club. For sure. Okay. Ooh. It is hot out here. Jesus. Look at the heat. The heat is on. I think I want me one of these things over here. I'm going to go up here and look just because I want to see how big it is. I want me a, a store. And I'm thinking... Oh, I like this little thing. It's so cute. This could be my store. I could buy me one of these and make it into a store. I like the little doors on it. It's also really cute. See? Look, my sister. I'm going to show my sister. This is $8.99. And 8 by 7.5 cubic inch storage container that's what I'm gonna say it is because that's what it is Ooh. okay guys I'm walking in the 
beginnings in the in the store look at these big pretty flowers my goodness they're gorgeous they are absolutely gorgeous um where is the oh the they're outside they're outside <clears throat> where are out, out here over that way okay oh i walk past what i need I need this card thing. Yeah, right here. How about that? Hello. Oh, Lord Jesus. And yes, I need one of these big carts because I have to get water. Alrighty, guys. Oh, not only that. Um, they have a trampoline over there for two sixty nine. Look at that. I don't know if I'm gonna be bothered with it or not. Okay, so. I should have had Oh no, I can go that way. I don't have to go all the way down there. Ooh, I like the way they're turning everything around to the side. They give me a little more room, I okay? guess. All right, y'all, I have a hard time with <clears throat> and talking while I'm in the stores and stuff, doing stuff. It's hard for me to hold the cameras, don't move, you know, try to get this, that, got a purse. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try to attempt to attempt attempt to get everything I need. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to attempt to do. Ooh. A lot of stuff in here. Ooh. We're making it happen, happen. OMG, y'all. Guess what? I just went to Sam's Club, right? And I called myself going grocery shop for my daughter. It didn't work right. It didn't go as planned. So I'm coming home with zero zilt zada nada. <laughs> it just didn't go as planned. That's all I'm going to say about that. It just didn't go as planned. Okay? It did not go as planned. And I'm just, you know, I don't know. It just didn't go as planned. And I'm 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 like one of them people that when you're doing stuff, I need it to be correct. I need it to be accurate. I need it to be on point. I don't need it to be un on point because it's going to frustrate me. And my anxieties can't deal with it. Okay? My anxieties ain't good with none of that. None, 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 none of that. Okay? Period. When they put a roundabout here, these people is roundabout and a roundabout. Okay? I'm talking... The roundabouts. I'm on, I'm on roundabout... What? What? What am I? What am I? What am I rounding it about? I just don't understand why I gotta go through the roundabout just to do this. Jeez. 
hunty hunty i'm back and um yeah so it was it was just one of them things where i thought i was gonna be able to do something that i wasn't able to do that's all so thanks for going to sam's club with me y'all <laughs> Thanks for Sam's Club. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to probably be rolling out. I don't know. I might wait till tomorrow to go back to the store. I think I'm, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to go back to the store. So that will be another video. We'll just do a video with us and Sam's Club at the store where my daughter is instead of me doing stuff without my daughter. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Did I say that? That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to help put on my lip gloss, right? And my lip gloss Y'all know. My lip gloss. This one is Honey Peach. It's the red. And you know what? I need to do it like this. Because in all honesty, my Honey Peach is almost gone. Out this too. car coming up on the back of me like this. Like I feel like lady, man, you better go on, get up out of my space. I don't like nobody in the back of me on me like that. Get up off my head. You know, when I'm driving, I'm driving and I don't want you on my butt like that because I don't want you on my butt like that. But when you simply flying around, it's going to make me slow down. I don't like people to make me, force me to drive no type of way. I just don't like it. Don't try to force me because you ain't going to win at it. It's going to stop totally. And I don't know, y'all can't see this man, but he is on my butt. Okay? When I say on my butt, what? Watch out close here. I can't see him. He in the back of me. Hey, stop freaking playing. Don't nobody play like that. I don't know. Why he still following me? He's still following me, y'all. And I'm keeping y'all on here because I don't want nobody to try to hurt me or harm me. Just because they stupid. And y'all can't see this car in back of me, but I can see them. It's a little Ford Fusion Focus, whatever you want to call it. Look like a Ford Fusion. My handicap sticker fell. Mm, mm, mm. It make me feel like somebody is following me. Nobody better not be following me because I ain't got time for that. Anyway, y'all. So how y'all been doing? What's been up? What's happening? What's going on? What's happening, Kathleen? What, what's what's the just? What's been what's been twaffling? What's been shaking? What's been moving? What? Anything been shaking and moving? Anything been shucking and tucking? Well, I'll tell you what's shaking and moving over here on my side. On my side. It is the lip gloss 
and the notebooks. That's the only thing that's shaking and jangling and shaking and jingling, shaking and jangling at the moment. And when I say that's what I love to do besides this, talking to y'all, enjoying it all, think about it. But ain't nothing else shuckling and driving. Y'all don't have nothing shuckling and driving. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. Blue lit. Is this the street? I don't think this is the street that I normally turn on, but I'm going to turn on it. Thank God that car went on about his business. Get off of my business. That's all I got to say about that. Get up off of my business. That's You get off of my business, and I'm going to stay off of your business, and we're going to be good. Pause, please. Hi, everyone. Okay, I know we had a long day. We went through a whole big process. We traveled we talked about my son that was the story time and then we uh went to the Sam, went to sam's club and it didn't turn out right and um now i'm back home and i'm relaxing some time has passed since i last was on here but uh yeah uh this is um this lip gloss, ooh, it's watermelon. It was one that I had. I sold out of them. I don't have them no more. And I put this little sticker on there. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks, guys, for following me through the day. Um, yes, I changed my shirt. I still got on my purple shoes, though. But I was cold with that shirt, so I had to put on a cotton shirt. And plus, I'm just at home relaxing. So being that I'm at home relaxing, I can look however I want to look. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, thank you for following me to the cardiologist today. Sorry about all the rain, all the disruptions. Um, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this story time because it is my real life and it's what I'm dealing with. But. I just thought I'd share that with you guys because it was like, whoa, you know, and um, <clears throat> the store, I'm going to go to store tomorrow again because I'm going to be traveling. So you guys will be coming along. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much for going on this trip with me today. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thanks for my new subscribers. I noticed and I appreciate you. And please keep following me at SureSimplyHerd1.com. Please don't forget all about, you know, the YouTube channels and all that. And um, there's other social media platforms that, that I'm on. All you got to do is look up my name. You'll find me. Or click a link and you'll find me. Um, but, yeah, thanks for supporting my business. Thanks for just being my subscribers. I appreciate you guys, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you. I really do. <laughs> well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Have a blessed day.